Hello and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now today we're going to cover one that's been requested a couple of times, which is how to get some really easy black armor on the table. Now I've got here a couple of intercessors, one Iron Hand and one Black Templar, and I've got these out of the uh, easy to build intercessors kit. Um, just a bit of a clip around, an arm swap and what have you, and these guys will fit pretty well into any old squad you've got going. Especially if you want to get a little bit of variety into, say, you've got the Dark Imperium set, uh, then a couple of boxes of these guys will actually help you bulk out to another five-man squad with a bit of variety in your army. But let's concentrate on what we're painting. I've got here, first of all, the Black Templar. Now these guys, they've got a little bit of freedom in how their, what would you call it, uh, crusade companies are organized. So there's not a single right way to paint them. So I've gone for this sort of bone finish on the on the shoulder pads and just a company color on the on the knee pad there. Nice and simple stuff. And then same too with the iron hand. These guys, they're pretty cool. These have always been a favorite of mine. Um, in the current codex, I don't think they have the silver trim on their shoulder pads, but I think it looks cool. Breaks up the color a little bit. And I remember that they did used to have that once upon a time. Remember too, only one of their hands is ordinarily a silver one until they get promoted and, you know, as luck would have it, they get the other one lopped off. <laughs> it's a hard life being a space marine. So let's have a look now at how we get started with these and the basics of dry brushing black armor. Now to get started, let's just have a quick moment talking about the palette choices for these two. Now with the iron hand, their color scheme is pretty bold, sharp. It's black and white and silver, and that's it. So personally, I like to think that Dawnstone and Longbeard Grey are going to be the best choices to highlight that armor, because I want it to be quite sort of sharp, pristine, and mirror the rest of the color scheme. I want it to be black and white, okay? Now this is a pretty generic sort of scheme that you can use for just about anything that's going to be black, but specifically with this Iron Hand, that's why I'm going with those two colors. Now with the Black Templar, these guys are going to have a lot more sort of going on. There's some bone details, there's black and white, quite often there's a fair bit of red on them somewhere. So they're going to have a slightly broader palette. And to my thinking, I quite like when that armor has got a slight bluish tinge to it. So instead, I'm going to go with Dark Reaper and Fenrisian Grey. Now these are both layer paints rather than dry paints. They can be dry brushed on in exactly the same way, but they do need, I guess, a little bit more care when you're applying them, because being that bit runnier, you know, if you're not careful and using a properly dry brush, you're going to find that you're just going to end up smearing it everywhere. So this is one that needs maybe a little bit more practice, but it will give you much the same result once you've got the hang of it. So let's get started with that now. So I've got just a little bit of Dark Reaper on my brush, and now I'm working it into all the bristles just wiping it off on the paper until I see I'm getting sort of much the same results I would with the dry paints. Now I have got a video up here on how I dry brush marines and all the sort of theory behind that so check that out if you've got a moment. What I'm going to do now is much the same just very lightly go along and look to catch the edges of detail all around this model. So particularly like under the chest, along the edges of his legs, you know, on the backpack, all these areas, I'm going to make sure have got this light edging of Dark Reaper. It might barely show up when you first go around it, so feel free, let it dry for a couple of seconds, and then come back to add just a little bit more. Now once it's applied, you can see that Dark Reaper is actually fairly subtle. It's a little less blue in real life than it looks on the camera, but that's still not too bad on how it's come out. Uh, depending on how quickly you wanted to get an army on the table, you might even just leave it there, if I'm honest. But we're going to take it a little bit further, because we can tidy this up, make it look even more swish. So I've got here my Fenrisian Grey, and again, this is another layer paint, so you want to be fairly cautious with it when you're first putting it on. So let's get me brush... oh dear, that's too much. <laughs> let's get me brush prepped up, and then just dry brush the edge of the base, to get a feel for how much I'm going to leave behind. And I'm actually going to take a bit more off the brush there. There we go, better. Now with this one, we're going to concentrate around areas that are going to catch the most light. So let's do the front of his armor plates here. 
Uh, we'll do it along the top of his helmet. Just catch these extreme edges of the vent. And you see that we're starting to build up a little bit more of the shape of that armor. So go around and we'll see how this looks once I've highlighted all the extreme edges I want to catch. Now we can see how that Fenrisian Grey has brought up the very edges and given a bit more depth to that black. As you can see in some places it does look a little bit chalky. So if we get up onto the backpack here for example, you know, there are some edges where it's not quite perfect. But not to worry, because we are going to fix that up. We've seen the results. So what I'm going to do now is quickly nut on to my iron hand. And we'll do the same thing with the Dawnstone and the Longbeard Grey. So there's our layer of Dawnstone. And I might have actually gone a little bit overboard <laughs> around the helmet. But eh, we'll fix that up. Better to be sort of finished than perfect. So now I've got my Longbeard Grey. And I'm going to go around all those high points that I want to highlight. Okay, now we have our two buddies, the Black Templar and the Iron Hand. Now he's rather a lot sort of brighter overall. I think I did go a little overboard, but with their palette, it might actually work. We'll see how it pans out. The Black Templar though, I'm quite pleased with that. And as I say, it's very simple and quick and easy to do. So the last step to sort of getting this all tidied up is to get yourself a nice big brush. I've got here, this is one of the old uh, flat dry brushes, but one of the uh, base coat brushes from Citadel will probably work pretty well for this. Or you could just use a shade brush and take your time getting it on. What I've got here is Manon Oil. So over the whole armor it goes. And you can be fairly liberal with this. All you're looking to do is make sure that all of that armor is covered in Nuln Oil. So you want to do this for both of them. Give it about half an hour to dry. We'll see what we get after that. Now once that wash is dried, you'll see how it dampens down all of that sort of, you know, where I'd gone a little bit overboard, so along the knee pads for example, and any of those flatter areas, but leaving the highlighting intact. It's a little bit sort of mottled and shiny in some places, but again, that's okay, we're going to fix that up later. This is just to get the main colour down on the armour. And, frankly, I'd say that's a success so far. Now perhaps you'll join me in breathing a likewise sigh of relief for the uh, Iron Hand. <laughs> I know he doesn't look quite as fantastic as I'd hoped, but that is oh, not too bad. We can fix that up and finish that off. So what I'm going to do now is actually go ahead and I'm just going to finish off these two Marines. Rather than going through all the steps, I mean, you know, there are other videos and there's other stuff I've done where you can see the steps I would take, the colors I would use, but this is fairly individual. This is how you would want to finish off these particular Marines. So I'm going to skip over that. And what we'll do is come back and see how they look without touching any more of that armor. Okay, all I'm going to do is bolt his eyes and so on and so forth. And we'll see how they look when everything's in context. So once all of the details have been painted, this is what you're left with. Now the Black Templars have a fair few sort of crusade companies out there. So you've got a little bit of leeway on how you get to paint these guys. So I've gone for that sort of bony trim rather than uh, sort of flat white. It's a little bit messy around the back there, but that's what happens when you're in a hurry. <laughs> uh, I've gone for sort of nice warm leather with the, uh, with the equipment. And there you have it. You know, that's, that's as easy as that is. Now over here, we'll have a quick look at the Iron Hand. Likewise, very simple. He actually came out a little bit nicer than I was expecting overall, especially along the back of his hands there and his knee pads. But just simple stuff, dark equipment, keeping all to that sharp black color scheme. Nice and simple. But what I'm going to do now is one last step to all of this armor. Once everything's finished on the miniature, uh, if you were going to apply your decals now would be the time to do it. But what I'm going to do is get a blast of the old uh, Munitorum Varnish which I've sort of rediscovered recently and have been really enjoying what that does to the models. If you wanted to though, you could get your hands on some of the old Vallejo matte varnish brush on stuff. I think you've seen, I've used that before to some good effect, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray these guys now and we'll get that sort of final finish to them. There we have it. Once these bases are applied and their varnish is dried, this is what we're left with at all of that. And as you can see, Again, it's not the classiest, you know, it's not the most precise, but put these on the table and they'll look the business. You know, these guys look like finished Marines and that black armor is not too difficult to do. 
In retrospect, I could probably have gone a little bit heavier with the uh, Incubi Darkness in Fenrisian Grey on this Black Templar. But, uh, you know, every bit's practice, isn't it? <laughs> so as ever, guys, hopefully something in there was useful to you. You know, it's an opportunity to think a little bit differently about how you might use dry brushing. And uh, again, very simple techniques that'll help you get these guys on the table looking pretty cool. So if you enjoyed that, you know, feel free to get in touch. Either drop a comment here on uh, YouTube or you can get in touch on my Facebook or Twitter. Those are both linked down below. As ever, guys, thank you very much for your time. You enjoy the rest of your day.